Now, as our circuit drawing is finished, if we click the simulate button, run the simulation button here, the play button, the simulation will start. As it's only one microfarad, it's actually perhaps too fast for our eyes. Now, to change the value of the capacitance, you have to bring the mouse onto the value and then left click twice. Now, increase the value to 20 microfarad. That should increase the delay by 20 times. Now, it's clearly visible that the LEDs are glowing how one is on when another is off and so it's visible okay now do you remember that the LED package did not have any PCB footprint okay now we are going to correct that click on the LED here there is a PCB package not specified and a question mark beside it in the edit component dialog click on the question mark there are PIC packages. These are the PCB footprint packages. Luckily, in Proteus, we have a LED package developed. Why did they didn't add it to the LED? It's not clear. So, click on the LED package and select OK. The LED PCB package is selected, then click on OK again. Okay. So now the PCB package is okay. Okay, after you have assigned the packages, now right click on the LED, then click on packaging tool. Now you have to assign the pins to this device. I select A1 as anode. and A2 as cathode. Then click on Assign Package. Now you have to make sure that the pin numbers are properly assigned. We know that the LED symbol, the cathode is shown with the right small bar so here the symbols are okay anode and cathode this one is also packaged properly so the device is now ready for making pack PCBs to make PCB select tools then select netlist to ARIS it could also be have done with alt A click on it Afterwards, the ARIS professional window will appear. So, where are the components? You have to select the component mode here, just like the ISIS. Here are the components. You can place them one by one, just, just like ISIS, but you have to remember you have to define a board layer first. Select the rectangle and here at the layers panel select the board edge this will define the boundary of your design this should do just fine for our design maybe it's too big we can adjust it later then go to component mode select the IC rotate clockwise click and then paste just it is similar to is this. The green arrows show which pins are connected together so that you can design it appropriately using ISIS. Can rotate but remember do not use the mirror buttons here as it will just change the layer of the component this is the power
power cord you'll have to connect two wires to ensure the power connectivity and this is the capacitor After you have finished placing all the components, it's not a, a very good design actually. You can also try to minimize the floor space. So you have to now route the design. Here is a track mode. You can place the copper connections here. The default can be edited by clicking the edit button. It's quite useful. 12 width is normally too low for cheap PCBs. Make it 30 to 50 or even more if you like. Then make sure the bottom copper layer is selected for single layer PCB. Afterwards you would like to connect the components. Click on any pin. After that routing will start. You can click then select the edge again click then again click on the side to finish the routing similarly you can route most of the layers not sure if this thing will work very good I'm not going to make it PCB anyway it's just an example so this wouldn't bother about the size and other things it could be made more smaller <laughs> 